here at PAX Prime, and I'm with Mark, the CEO founder of Firefall. How's it going, man? It's going great, Kelly. Wow, well, I'm really impressed with your booth. It's very blue. Can you tell us what you guys are bringing new to PAX Prime? Well, here we're showing a lot of our new eSports features. So we've got uh, an awesome sort of spectator mode that is built for shoutcasters. You'll get to be able to control a lot of the game, place cameras where you want them, and it's probably the best shoutcaster mode that we have for uh, uh, any FPS out there. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, and that's something that a lot of games are actually lacking in eSports is a whole spectatable mode for casters. So can you tell me what you guys are looking forward to most, though, like here at PAX, I hear there's a whole new Founders Pack. What's, what's that all about? That's the big thing, is that uh, we are uh, live for a pack sale selling Founders Packs for the game. They're 25% off kickoff sale for the whole PAX weekend, even online. You don't have to be at the show, but if you're at the show, you get the merch pet unlock when you buy a Founders Pack here, and, they, and we're selling out. We're, we're going to be out today of, of the t highest tier card, so we're going to think about a plan B for tomorrow so we can still get more Founders Packs out there. Now, are there, I, there was a tournament at Gamescom. How did that go for you guys? Big success online there as well? Oh, it was spectacular. I mean, we, we worked with ESL on that. We had on the big screen. We were using the new spectator mode, and it went really, really well. And that was a, that was a 10,000 euro prize cash pool. But th uh, next year, we're doing a $1 million prize cash pool. So that's- Did you see my eyes? Yeah. They kind of like got a little bigger. <laughs> yep, $1 million. So we take uh, esports really, really seriously. We fine tune a lot of the game, the hitboxes, the, the animations and all that stuff, and uh, the way that the guns and the abilities work to really exhibit the skill ceiling that you can do if you're a professional player. And that's something that we've all been looking forward to. As a pro player, we always need something that's leveling the game, making it very competitive and fun as well. So I'm really impressed here with Firefall, though. Tom, you got any questions for Mark? Yeah, I just want to know why you guys went more esports than you know any of the other games that are out. I noticed that you guys have Roulette on your team, who's an awesome former Frag Doll, and I don't know if she still is with the Frag Dolls, but she did an amazing video for you guys. And I and I want to know who else do you have on your team that is, you know, why esports? Why did you guys get involved with esports? Well, you know, we really just thought it was time for the gamer to get some of the highlight. Instead of the focus being on the games, now the focus is really shifting towards what are gamers doing with these games. And esports is probably the highest form of skill that you see in gaming. And we love to celebrate that. We think it's good for the game. It gets people excited about the game. Uh, gets more people watching the game. And uh, and that's good for business and it's good for the gamer. I fully agree because when you see a game reel, when you see a new game that comes out, especially a shooting game, and you see someone playing it, you're like, wow, that guy really sucks. I don't think he's ever played before. So now that you watch Firefall, it seems like almost everyone that's playing is like a pro. And, and I love how you guys are catering to the esports community like that. What can we expect for you guys in the next couple of years? You guys plan on making it to MLG, any other tournaments? Are you going to go strictly with what you guys have gone now at events? Or do you plan on getting involved with all of the tournaments? Well, like I said, we've got the million dollar pool for set aside for next year. Uh, we're going to use the eSports bus we created, this gigantic 20 seat thing. It's got a built in television studio, built in server cluster, supports up to 3,000 players. So this is a problem with eSports on server based games. It's like you can't get the bandwidth to get up you know to a server so we bring the servers to you so this bus is going to go around and we're looking at different partnership opportunities you know and we'll see what happens wow i'm extremely impressed esports baby and firefall thanks so much man loving the booth awesome. loving it rich and rob back to you guys